Hey guys, we've got a LX885 New Holland here. This video is about how to bypass the seatbelt safety switches and the boom interlock relays. Wasn't really focused on bypassing the seatbelt switch itself, but it's all tied together and if one of them doesn't get the right signal from somewhere, it'll lock your boom and lock your bucket and you're dead in the water if you're in the middle of a job. And it's happened to me three times now. And after replacing all these different relays and solenoids and all and it working for a couple hours and then something going out again, I uh, just decided to figure out how to bypass it. And nobody on the forums will tell you how to do it because there's a safety risk, I guess. So if you are dumb enough to climb out of the cab with the boom raised and you step on the pedal and it falls on you, I'm not liable for any of that. I'm just telling you how to get out of the bind if you're in one. So your interlock solenoids down here. When I got this machine, the boom interlock solenoid was already removed and they just left it hanging here. What they do is when they don't have the signal from where they're supposed to get it, that little pin pops into that groove and keeps you from being able to move the pedal to move the boom or the bucket. So the way I did this, I took the little panel out that has the uh, ignition switch and lights and all that and put in a toggle switch here white wire is power coming in ran it into here if you take your headliner out you can kind of feed your wires up here easier uh, put a fusible link in just to be safe from there the wire runs back if you shove a flathead screwdriver in this gap right here you can push the wires through there and feed them back beside the glass So they come down behind here along that loom that's back there. Come down, the white wire is power going to the switch, like I said. And you want to hook that one. Into this little spade connector. That pin right there is the only one that I've found to get 12 volts from without switch 12 volts when the keys on 12 volts comes to this it's the only one I've been able to find without having to cut a wire somewhere else and this little red wire I just have run to my electric fuel pump so power is coming from here across the window over there up and into the cab and to the switch now the blue wire On the other side of the switch is what's going to run power down to the solenoids, the interlock solenoids down here. So I routed them the same way, across the top, down the back, and it comes down the back of the firewall. And I just kind of routed it, it's not very clean, but it gets it here. You should have two solenoids, one for the boom, which should be there, mine doesn't have it, one for the bucket. The one for the boom only has, the solenoid itself only has two wires going to it. The boom solenoid has two coming in, an orange and a black. Orange is your positive. So if you tap into the positive side of this boom solenoid, power flows through the solenoid and back and flows down into your bucket solenoid as well. So once power gets to this one, it'll feed the other one, so it'll unlock both of them. So once you have that hooked there, when the key's turned on, and you flip the switch, you get power down to these, and it'll unlock the, it'll unlock them both. And turn it off. 
and also without the seat belt switch engaged you won't get power from here to your solenoid starter solenoid I don't know where it goes after this but you want to run a jumper wire from this terminal down to this terminal of your starter well not your starter solenoid but this solenoid and after that's hooked you won't have to have the seat belt latched and you won't have to have any of that working to have your boom work shouldn't knock you out of a job so nobody on forums have said how to do this so here it is sorry it wasn't a better video but i don't normally do this stuff so hope it helped y'all out